Hey everyone, I am Ivy. And I'm Sharon. And cut, today. Cut, cut. Sorry guys, we are facing a technical issue. We will start back into home. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's very trippy. Okay, Sharon, what are you doing? Hey, I was just twirling my mustache in this. Are you okay? Why? Because you don't have a mustache. Well, this app actually helps me make a mustache and help me twirl it. Wow, that sounds cool. I think our audience would love to know more about this tech. So I think we should. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, I am Sharon. And today, we're unpacking the marvels of augmented reality. Or AR, as it's fondly known. With me is the ever-curious Ivy. Ready to augment our realities, Ivy? Absolutely, Sharon. You know, it has always fascinated me how AR blends the digital world with the real. But let's start with the basics. What exactly is AR? Great question. Augmented reality is this incredible technology that superimposes computer-generated graphics onto a view of the real world. It's like adding a digital layer to enhance our reality. And just for example, imagine using the IKEA app, right? You can use the app to place your sofa onto your living room and see what it looks like even before buying it. Yes, I have tried that feature and it's incredible. So, AR isn't about replacing our reality like virtual reality, but enhancing the spaces around us with digital information. And if you haven't watched our previous video on deep dive into virtual reality, make sure to check it out to get a comprehensive understanding of how AR and VR contribute and compare to our digital experiences. Did you know there are four different types of AR? Marker-based, where digital animations appear when a camera spots a specific marker. Then there's markerless AR, great for navigation apps because it uses the GPS and other sensors instead of markers. And don't forget about the projection-based AR and superimposition-based AR. Projection-based AR can project synthetic light on physical surfaces, making it interactive. While superimposition-based AR can replace the original view with an augmented view. For example, See how a furniture will look in your room through an app. That's spot on, Ivy. Diving into its history, AR has been around longer than many think. Do you remember the iconic movie Terminator, released back in 1991? Well, it introduced audiences to a form of AR through the eyes of a cyborg. This Terminator vision allowed the machine to analyze its environment, identifying threats and objects with digital overlays. More than just a visual effect, this Terminator vision was a conceptual revolution. It envisioned a world where digital and physical realms converge, enabling machines and humans to interact with their environments in never-before way. This vision has been a source of inspiration for AI developers, pushing the boundaries of what's technologically possible. Well, that's quite a journey. And how does AR work? It feels like magic sometimes. It does, doesn't it? The magic begins with capturing images of the real world. Then AR technologies overlays 3D images on these real world objects based on the geometry. Devices like the smartphones, AR glasses and headsets allow us to see these amazing interactions. Well, I've heard of something called SLAM technology. What is it exactly? SLAM or Simultaneous Localization and Mapping is a set of algorithms that helps the AR system understand and map the environment while keeping a track of the user's location. It's crucial for making AR appear grounded in the real world. Guys, don't worry. This is just a glimpse into augmented reality. And we are just getting started. That's right. Our upcoming AR 101 series is going to dive even deeper, making the incredible world of AR easy and exciting for everyone. Stay tuned. Sharon, it must take a lot of technologies to make AR possible. Absolutely. From sensors and cameras that gather data from our interactions with the augmented world to processors that crunch this data in real time. Not to mention the projectors and the reflectors that bring these digital images to life right before our eyes. And we interact with AR mainly through smartphones and special AR glasses, right? Right. Modern smartphones are a powerhouse for AR equipped with GPS cameras and sensors. 
but for a more immersive experiences ar glasses or heads up displays project information directly into a line of sight head up display or heads up display also known as hud or head up guidance system is any transparent display that presents data without requiring users to look away from their usual view points the origin of the name stems from a pilot being able to view information with the head positions up and looking forward instead of angled down looking at lower instruments a hud also has the advantage that the pilot eyes do not need to free focus to view the outside after looking at the optically nearer instruments it's amazing how ar is enhancing our lives from shopping and navigation to learning and gaming it's like we are living in the future ar doesn't only stop with fancy gadgets it has a profound benefit across various sectors For businesses, integrating AR can mean everything from better monitoring or maintenance and production to virtual property walkthroughs, which could drastically reduce purchase returns for retailers. And it's not just about improving shopping experiences, right? I've read that AR can significantly enhance learning and training environment. Exactly, Ivy. AR brings learning to life. Students can now interact with 3D models, making subjects like chemistry or human anatomy more engaging. For example, there is this app called Elements 4D that lets students combine paper cubes to see chemical reactions in real time through the device's camera. And in medical training, AR now allows students to practice surgeries in a controlled virtual environment, minimizing risks and costs. Speaking of real-life examples, I've heard that AR is now being used in gaming and tourism too. Pokemon Go and Google Expeditions are some prime examples, right? This is actually my favorite part. Pokemon Go has turned the whole world into a gaming stage. While Google Expeditions allows students to explore historical sites and natural wonders right from their classrooms. These are just a few instances where AR has seamlessly integrated into our daily lives, providing both educational and practical value. Well, it's clear that AR has a vast range of applications. But what about technical side? Developing for AR must be quite complicated. Well, it's definitely specialized work. But the tools and platforms that are available today, like AR Kit by Apple, uh, AR Core by Google, have made AR development more accessible. These platforms support various features like 3D tracking, test recognition, and even integration with Unity for game development. Developers can create marker-based or location-based apps depending on what they aim to achieve. The key is selecting the right platform based on your needs, whether it's image recognition, 3D object tracking, or just support for smart glasses. So if a business or a developer wanted to start integrating or developing AR they would need to consider their application specific requirements and choose a platform that aligns with those needs right precisely i mean and with AR expected to continue growing exponentially now is actually the perfect time to start exploring how it can be integrated into products services or even marketing strategies the future of AR is not just about enhancing reality but creating a new dimension of interaction between the digital and the physical worlds. Imagine a future where the digital and real stuff blends so smoothly you just can't tell them apart. Pretty exciting, right? Yes, indeed. And to our viewers, we hope this discussion sparks your interest in the potential of AR. There's so much to explore and even more to look forward to as we witness the evolution of augmented reality. Stay curious and keep exploring. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. By subscribing, you're not just supporting us. You're becoming a part of a community that's at the forefront of exploring and understanding these groundbreaking technologies. Let's navigate this exciting future together. Thanks for joining us today and remember to stay curious. We can't wait to see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye. If you're passionate about AR, VR or immersive technologies in general, why not just join our Discord community? It's the perfect place to meet like-minded enthusiasts, exchange ideas and get the latest on AR, VR developments. Meet you on the other side and you can find the link on our description box.